I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I don't think anyone really knows exactly what they're doing yet. There's so much schedule, especially for the All Stars, and so we're kind of going to be working around them and to see whenever they have any time. But I'm pretty sure everyone will probably end up at the same place. Uh, just try to be relaxed, uh, not you know take it too serious, but you know not so relaxed to where you don't even care about it. And just finding a good balance and. Um, I think the key is just to make a few on your first rack. So that's just my goal is to make a few in the beginning so you feel confident and not too much pressure to make everything at the end. So that's kind of my mindset going into it. Uh, I mean, it's always an honor to just to be able to be a part of this uh, event that the WNBA puts on, uh, especially Vegas. They always have so many fans and there's so much action going around, obviously being Vegas. So it's just fun to be a part of it. Um, it means a lot to be able to be this old and still be able to, you know, shoot it and be a part of, you know, this competition with so many other amazing shooters out there to choose from. So I'm just, you know, honored to, that they chose me. In the past, I've used a rack and practiced a little bit at practice, but I didn't do that this time. So, um, I mean, I, I shoot spots every, every day, but just not like grabbing the ball like that. So I think all the preparation is just, every shot I've ever taken in my career. So I'm just gonna be confident in that, you know, I, I get shots up every day and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, obviously five, 10, five, 10 years ago, I felt better, felt younger and just more fresh. And you didn't like need that break physically. I feel like a lot of us are looking forward to this break coming up just to rest the body. And obviously 10 years ago, it's, you didn't need any break. It was like, all right, let's just play again. Let's keep on going. So. I think I'm just looking forward to the break and just to rest the body, reset the mind, and um, come back strong for the second half of the season. Yeah, I'm going to go out, out west. I'm uh, going to go to Montana, get a little vacation, nature, lake time in, and just relax, um, just be with family, and uh, mentally have that reset and physically that I think we all need right now. And then come back and just be ready to go because our second half of the season is our toughest. So but definitely ready for this break. Uh, I think we're feeling good just to all be healthy. That's our main thing. I think if anything we could take from this first half is that um, when we're full strength, you know, that's our, our potential and that's where we saw this season going. So I feel like we're all just gonna do, do a really good job of um, taking care of ourselves in this break and competing and just all being healthy on the court. And then uh, I feel like we'll see a lot of the, a lot more wins in the second half. I think someone that is competitive, athleticism helps, um, intelligent and fearless. Um, I think if you have those attributes, uh, you're on a really good path to be one of the, the greatest. Um, you know, really limiting our turnovers, just getting a shot up every time down the floor because you know we have proven over the, the course of the season that when we um, get shots up, we shoot a high percentage and we score the basketball. So that's, that's number one, um, obviously defensive rebounding, you know, if we limit the other team's second chance points, we're, you know, get, the games that we have won, those are the two things that we've done a good job in, um, in terms of the stats and, and the categories like that. So those are the things that we're just going to, you know, focus on going forward. If we, uh, limit our turnovers and rebound the basketball, we're, we're in a good shape. We think we'll be there. We'll be there sort supporting her on what, um, you know, usually in the, at, at, all-star, you don't go into the locker room at halftime. So, uh, okay. but even if we did, we would, all three would be out there. Sorry, coach, like we got to support Allie. Oh, wow. Um, you know, I think when we're at full strength, um, I think that we, that our ability to play on both ends of the floor, um, you know, I, I think that it was something that you just weren't really sure. You know, obviously on paper, everything, this this roster looked really good when the addition of Candace Parker, it was like, you know, you just never know how things are going to turn out. Um, and when we had a full roster, um, I was, you know, just impressed, I think, with how well and smooth our offense ran. You know, there's times when, um, you know, I want the ball in my hands, but it's in Candace's and, you know, good things happen. So there, there, it's all about sharing the ball and, and how, how things, um, how smoothly it's been on offense. I mean, it, during that seven game winning streak, I think we were averaging 90 something points. Um, you know, I think that was one thing that I really learned, like when, when things are 
uh, when we're healthy, we're really, really good on the, on the offensive end. Well, you know, she's a, she's a three-time all-star that um, is coming off the bench. And that was the last, the previous three years. It wasn't like a long time ago, you know, so, um, you know, she deserves it. She would probably, you know, and she can, I think all six women, do you think that maybe they could be a six, um, they could be a starter in this league, but you know, that's what she's really embraced this role. And it's huge for us having her come off the bench and just, you know, be such a scoring threat right away. Um, I think in all of our wins, you can tell that she's she's kind of been that factor that she's just so efficient and comes in and does it in a short amount of minutes. So um, that's what you look for in a six woman of the year. So, you know, and Allie's won that a couple of times. I think her name is um, synonymous with that uh, with that award. So yeah. I, I'm ready for the break, um, you know. It's been a, it's especially with that long road trip and we played a lot of games in a short amount of time coming from overseas, you know, it'll be, it'll be nice just giving our bodies a rest and, um, you know, being able to just focus on staying healthy, getting healthy um, and looking forward to the second half of the season.